Chef Boudreaux, man. Today, we're going to be making my rendition of beef stew. I call it Boudreaux's beef stew. So, today I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you my ingredients, man. Come on, little man. So, we got about four pounds of beef chuck. All right. This is stew. Stew meat. Beef. I got about five stalks of celery. I got five uh, fresh carrot, cut oblique style. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you. Um, and I have three medium, medium quartered, um, small onion quarter. So I'm going to show you how to do an oblique cut real quick. So you're going to cut it like that. Turn, quarter turn cut, quarter turn cut, quarter turn cut. Quarter turn cut. So that's it. I'll add that to that. Okay. So I got a pound of potatoes right here, red potatoes. I have two tablespoons of garlic. I have three tablespoons of tomato paste. And I have a fourth cup of balsamic vinegar. And I have a fourth cup of. Yes! Worcestershire sauce. I have six cups of flour. I got a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, quarter teaspoon of pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And I have eight cups of chicken broth right here. That's why I'm only adding this much. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to add the flour up in here. Six tablespoons of flour. I'm going to add four cup of each, I mean, four teaspoons of each, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I have organized. So we're going to mix this up real quick. Mix this up real good. Here we go. Make sure that mixed up real well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to brown this meat off. Brown off the beef. Run it off real good and set this aside. Keep playing around with this. So just in case you need a little extra oil, don't be afraid to add it, okay? But when this brown off, we're going to add that balsamic vinegar and Worcestershire to this. Once it brown off real good. We're gonna crank this up a little bit so we can sear it off real good. This right here, this uh, maripois, I'm gonna save that, maybe saute it a little bit. I don't wanna just throw it in there raw, but who knows? Let's play around in the kitchen, y'all. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and since this browned off, I'm gonna go ahead and add this garlic. I'm gonna add. Worcestershire and balsamic mix. I'm gonna add the tomato paste. 
a quick egg. Look. <coughs> Usually I make a root. But if you don't want to do it like I did it, you can use this as a little cheat guy. You know what I mean? That way everything will come together. Made by Tony Satchers. It's all coming together right here. And on the back end, we're going to throw some corn in there because I don't like peas. So if you like peas, go on and add your little peas. Me, myself, as for me and my house, we eat corn. Alright, so now we're going to bring this broth in. Eight cups of broth. There we go. Nice and brown already. Now as this come together, you can go ahead and taste to see if you add need a little bit more um, salt or pepper or anything like that. I like to add my vegetables on the back end because I don't want to be mushy. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna throw me a little thyme up there. A little bit extra flavor, some herbs. I'm gonna throw them in there just. Like that hole, and then I'll pick them out as we go. All right, fresh time. We are gonna let that cook. I'm gonna cover this up. Let this cook. Oh yeah. When that meat start to tenderize, man, we are gonna come on back and we are gonna add these vegetables in. Corn, potatoes, mirepoix. I might saute a little bit. I don't know. I might just throw them in there raw and let them all come together. We got this going up right here. It's me starting to tenderize. I let it cook for about 45 minutes. So what I'm about to do is now I'm about to add potatoes, onion. But first of all, real quick. All right. So I know I said I wasn't going to use this. You could use this as a cheat. So what I did was, because Tony's, Tony has salt in it, this has a little salt in it, didn't taste good to my liking, so I'm going to add a little bit of this to stop, because you got to taste your food. So, um, and uh, if you didn't, minus, minus the corn, if you added a little red wine to this, this could actually be uh, beef bourguignon, and you can braise it in the oven. It'll be braised in the oven instead of on the top of the stove. So, uh, taste your food, man, so you make sure it, it tastes okay. Now, I know my Louisiana people like to eat they, uh, like to eat they stew over rice. But today, we going all the way country. We going all the way country. We going to sop this up with some biscuits. Now you see it's starting to thicken up, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these potatoes. Then I'm gonna add a marijuana. And I'm gonna let this cook for about another 45 minutes, okay? Now you can kind of simmer this, but we are gonna still keep it at about, maybe about six. With the top on. I cooked this all with the top on for 45 minutes, took the top off, took out the uh, time, and uh, so we're going to let this go a little bit. I think it should be salted enough. If not, I'm going to taste it, and we're going to make sure it is. All right? Hey, check this out. Last 15 years, we're gonna go ahead and add this corn up in there. Alright. And put a pea in there too. There we go. Now, and I'm gonna complete this with a little bit of pasta.
last 15 minutes, I'm gonna throw your paws up in there. Along with that corn. Alright, I'm gonna let that cook pop top off. Alright. Pop top off. Alright. Pop top off. Get this a little stir. As you can see, it's been thickened up. Now I use frozen corn, frozen peas. So in the next 15 minutes, this should be done. Alright? Now, while we're doing that, like I said, uh, we're going to sop this up with some biscuits. Now, I could have made something fresh, but we trying to be in and out for the kitchen. Look what I got. I got these grams right here. Now you can, if you got buttermilk, you can go ahead on you do. The Chef Boudreaux gonna use these flakes. Cause that's what I got. Alright. We biscuit sopping. Alright. Last. Now this right here say between. 13 and 16 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in there for about 15 minutes, right? I got my oven already preheated. 350. Set this timer for 15 minutes. And then we gonna go. Get to the side. I'm gonna clean this up. This thing is done, son. Look at that, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Man, you pull this over here. Do what we gonna do. Take a little bit of everything up in there. Turn this around. Biscuits I just took out the oven. As a matter of fact, all right, now we all wiped off. <clears throat> Man, look at these biscuits. They're all nice and glossy. Put them right there. Man, look at that. Man, I gotta get some more to taste this. I gotta blow this, man. Cause I like my food served to be hot. If it come there loop, I'm sending it back. Boy. Mm-mm-mm. This some good eating right here, boy. That meat so tender and more. Like I said before, you don't need no tea to eat my meat. This is Chef Boudreau, man. Look, this is quarantine cooking. This is how we getting down. Man, Rick Smiley Morning Show. You already know how I get. Peace.